In today's video, I will be turning this image to 3D. Stick around for the final result. Hey, name's David. I'm a 3D artist. And let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt frustrated with your own productivity? Maybe you struggle to meet your own expectations. Perhaps your adrenaline has been rushing from that one impending deadline. Or maybe, like me, you're just lazy. Myself and satisfied with my working pace, I set out the challenge of finding a 2D piece of art and turning it to 3D, all within three days. Let's get started. On the first day, I scrolled through Pinterest until I came across a concept I was intrigued by. I chose this one for being a simple bust. If anyone knows the artist, do tell me, because Google clearly doesn't. Waking up at a reasonable hour, I deleted Blender's default cube and got to work. I first began by adding a simple sphere model, which I would use as a start for the base. I then started the shape of the base. I placed around a digital camera to match the composition of the concept as well. The way I work with the geometry is most reminiscent of real life sculpting. Buckle up, by the way, because there's going to be a whole lot of that. Speaking of which, I worked further on the base as to express further its shapes. I also added the other parts, such as the jaw, neck, horns, and ears. After some work, I got a silhouette I was pleased with and moved on to the next phase. Ah, lighting. I have always struggled with you to a worrying degree. Knowing this, I did some research to make sure I would get it right. This is when I found out about three points lighting. Together with my trusty digital lights, I began to follow this principle for my scene. I also adjusted the basis color and outline for a more accurate preview. Eventually, I obtained this lighting setup. Yes, you did read the title correctly. Your topology is a real word. See, geometry actually composes all 3D models and is called topology. Retopology, then, is the act of taking this geometry from an unworkable base towards a much cleaner upgrade. Starting off the second day, then, with a single face, I slowly build my way around the model. I also hold some references on the side as to ensure my workflow respects the conventions of retopology. I like to think of this step as a puzzle. It is quite a bore, but by the end you have a pretty picture. Rapidly enough, I get to a solid result. Nice. Then, I begin applying what are called UVs. This system allows me to project a 2D texture onto a 3D surface. You know those flattened diagrams of cubes you can print out? UVs behave in a similar fashion. Look at that, we can paint now. Remember when I mentioned real-life sculpting? Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of that now. By subdividing our retopologized mesh with greater density, I am able to begin grabbing, carving, just like actual sculpting tools. Except, you know, digital. I make it a point to have as many references as possible, as to have a constant reminder of what stuff looks like. And then, yeah, I just sculpt away. It's been a while by now, and... I'm sure I've refined the model enough to jump to the next. Oh. What if I'm not good enough? What am I supposed to do? Time is running out. My deadline is stupid to begin with. Unless.
I unleash my secret technique. A training montage. Somehow, I managed. But now in a hurry, I got to working on the spikes. I used a base model which I modified and scattered all throughout the head. I even added some polish to the sculpt. No, no, no. In the end, I pulled through. Take that, ominous clock. Final day at last, I used the software called Substance Painter, which is basically the Photoshop of 3D. I tossed the Retopo model in there, projected the sculpt, baked some maps, and started working on the textures. I wanted to get that green jade look right, so of course this means more references. I also utilized some automatic generators for details. Following this, I grew an interest for this iridescent sheen you find in some minerals and even insect wings. And with this tutorial, I started working on a material of the same effect. This required a bit of trial and error, especially for the colors, but with time, I got it to look right. Following some eventful rendering, I launched my photo editing software and imported my different render passes. I use Krita for this, which is basically Photoshop for the poor. At long last, we are reaching the end of the third day, and with it, this image will soon turn complete. And thus, three days in one sleep schedule fucked later, here we are, with the final result. Overall, I'm pleased to have managed this whole experiment in the expected time frame, but I'm realizing my art is lacking the level of quality I'm after. I wasn't entirely pleased with the completed image, so I later fiddled around with AI and came up with this look which I prefer. I suppose in the end I went beyond three days. I guess I lied. Anyway, that's the video. Thanks for sticking until the end. Also, thank you to Random and Tomohiko for supporting the channel on Patreon. Alright, do what the other YouTubers tell you to do around this time of the video, and see ya.